Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priya Sabaha. Today we are going to discuss assault in the Indian Penal Code. Usually people get confused between assault and criminal force, but there is a difference between the two. Criminal force I have already explained in my previous video and in this video we are, we are going to discuss assault. So let's start. Section 351 of IPC speaks about assault. Now what is the meaning of assault? Basically, if any person is using any type of gesture or making a preparation to use a criminal force towards any other person, that means he is using an assault or he is committing an assault. But the thing which has to be remembered is there must be a proper gesture which is a clear indication of using a criminal force. And secondly, there must be a clear apprehension of a preparation to use a criminal force towards any other person. Then only it will come under the category of assault. Always remember that there must be a proper gesture. Secondly, there may be a use of any substance and thirdly, there may be use of any animal also. That means if a person is using any gesture or using any substance, that means if he may use any stick or revolver or anything else to hurt any other person, then it comes under the category of assault. And if also that person is using any animal, then also it comes under the category of assault. For example, the thing which we have to remember is that there may, must not be only a word. If a person is using only a word without a gesture, then it doesn't come under assault. That means if, if I am having a fight with my friend and if I say, please do not say this again, otherwise I am going to kill you. Now this doesn't come under assault because I am simply using the words. It does not have a serious meaning. I am seriously not going to kill her. But if I am having a fight with my friend and if I will pick any phone or a pick any, uh, any weapon, it may be a stick, it may be anything which may hurt my friend. And I will say by using that gesture, by picking that substance and I will say stop, stop, otherwise I am going to kill you or I am going to hurt you. Now here I am not only using the gesture but also using any substance. That means it is a clear indication that I will definitely going to hurt her. Then it comes under assault. Similarly if I am using my pet, if I am saying my pet that please go and bite her and my friend is afraid of a dog, then that also comes under assault. So, there must be a clear apprehension, a clear indication of using any criminal force with the help of either gesture or a substance or an animal that it comes under criminal, uh, uh, comes under assault. But if a person is using merely a word, it doesn't come under assault. Section 352 of IPC is related to punishment of assault and criminal force. Now, this I have already explained in my previous video when I was explaining criminal force. But I am uh, repeating it just for those persons who are watching my this video only. Basically, if any person is using assault or criminal force, he shall be punished for three months or with fine or with both. Now, three months is the punishment and fine may be extended to 500 rupees or with both. Now in this section there is an exception also for the public servant. That type of assault or criminal force which has been used by the sudden provocation of any mob of or of any person to public servant and with the result there is an assault or a criminal force has been used by the public servant then there, there will be no punishment for public servant. But that particular thing must be when he was doing his duty. That means during the time of duty, if there is any sudden provocation by any person or a mob, then there will be no, and the public servant is using 
an assault or a criminal force then there will not be any punishment for that now section 353 of ipc which states that if any person is using assault towards a public servant then he will be punished for the term which is two years or fine or both that means if a public servant is doing his duty and another person is using assault to stop them to do his duty then that person will be punished for two years or fine or both section 354 is related to any assault or criminal force which has been used to outrage the modesty of any women that means if any person is present there or if he is using any assault and the criminal force to outrage the modesty of a woman then the punishment of that person will be minimum of one year and maximum of five years and he shall be punished with fine also now here minimum of one and maximum of five will depend upon the gravity and the nature of the outraging a modesty of a woman now section 354b is an extension of section 354 which is definitely more serious in nature now in this section if any person is using an assault basically he is using any gesture or a criminal force to disrobe any woman or he is uh, also abating any person to disrobe or make another person or a woman compel her to get nude then it comes under assault that means if any person is using an assault or a criminal force either by himself or aiding or abetting any other person to disrobe any woman or making her or compelling her to become nude then it comes under section 354b for that the punishment is minimum of three years and maximum of seven years and also fine now section 355 of IPC states that if any person is using assault or criminal force just with an intention to dishonor any other person then he will be punished by the term of two years or fine or both but the thing which we have to remember is that assault or criminal force must not be result of any grave or sudden provocation if there is a grave and sudden provocation with the result if any person is using assault and criminal force towards that person then it comes under general exception but if there is no sudden or grave provocation then there will be punishment or fine or both section 356 of ipc is related to assault or criminal force which is used to commit or to attempt theft on any other person especially if the person is wearing something or which the person which is the owner of that thing and if there is any assault or criminal force which has been committed to commit a theft then the punishment is for the term of two years or fine or both and lastly section 357 of IPC which is related to an assault or criminal force which is used for uh, for taking any person in a wrongful confinement now wrong, wrongful confinement this is again I have already explained in my one video what is the meaning of wrongful confinement and a wrongful restraint you may look after that video that means if any person is making an assault or a criminal force just to make a person confined into one place then the punishment will be one year and or a fine which is 1000 rupees or both so this is all about the assault in IPC Hope you like the video and understand also and if you like it do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. You may also follow me in the various social media platforms that is my website priyasapaha.com which is also known as Law Colloquy. 
and the other pages like FB page Law Colloquy, LinkedIn Law Colloquy, Instagram Law Colloquy and Twitter and YouTube with the name of Dr. Priya Sipaha. We are also accepting blogs from all of you. You are free to write a blog for my website that is Law Colloquy and you may get the details on priyasipaha.com so please you may be a member and you may be our family and please write also please share my video and keep showering your love thank you see you soon bye, -bye.